today I wanted to see if I could do something that many, many people have done before. I wanted to see if I could break the sound barrier. Something I've not done yet. You guys, probably something that's real easy. But I'm thinking we're going to keep this nice and light. So I'm just going to go go-kart seat. And in all fairness, I want to see what these raw jet engines are like. Now I know that it says that they have like a cooldown, but we must be able to get some power from them, right? I'm not going to worry about steering. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. I think that'd be pretty light, right? We'll go in here and we'll just change this up just so that we're on W. Right, see how we get to. It was pretty quick. Wow, so it only gets to 120 ish before it needs to cool down. See that again? 126 ish, and then it's on cooldown. I reckon we can get faster than that with normal engines. Now, I know this is going to be slow to start with, just because they are slow to get going. But once they get going, pick up speed. I reckon this will be all right. Got 120 out of the two jets. But it's a bit slow, isn't it? Bless it. Well, this isn't going to get to 120. It gets to 100. So what about then? Because we know that the Dragon engine is a bit quicker. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Fifty. Yeah, okay, right, so use these bad boys for acceleration then. Let's get a couple of the Dragon Jet engines in here. Initial acceleration is good, already over 120. Okay, so these engines are probably the way to go. 207, okay. What about aerodynamics? Aerodynamics are pretty non-existent noise so how about we try and make this thing a little bit more aerodynamic i'm wondering you know how much does the game care about aerodynamics in which way they face it doesn't apparently that'll be interesting oh easy nearly 300 mile an hour so aerodynamics is a massive Massive difference in this game. A huge difference. And it doesn't seem to matter which way the aerodynamics flow, as long as it's aerodynamic. So it kind of goes against everything that you think when you've got a massive wedge there that just eat up a load of air. And we're pushing nearly 400 miles an hour. Go on, there we go. We broke 400 miles an hour. So this might be a little bit easier than I thought. So now I'm thinking, we've got that far, why don't we just double everything up? Best way to go faster is just more speed, right? So the first set was 400 miles an hour. What are we thinking this is going to be? So we're getting airflow around the wheels, which obviously is not great for us. Interesting. So what happens then if we put that there? The game doesn't seem to mind or care. Interesting. I don't have any red arrows. Then we'll try that. 200 miles an hour is an absolute breeze. 300 miles an hour. Wowzers. 400 miles an hour. Okay. Went up to 500. 500 miles an hour and a wall. It looked like we had a little bit more to go. We'll try again. Look at it. It's not exactly the most aerodynamic thing in real life, but come on now. It's in the game, it works, right? Knocking on the door, 500 again, 500 miles an hour. Wow. Got 600, 550, 560, 570, 580 miles an hour. Okay, 580 miles an hour. 589, we're we gonna do it at 590. It's gonna be tight. No, 589, that's not bad. More engines, I hear you say. Well, being as we seem to have room, it'd be rude not to have a load of these. <laughs> How much more are we gonna get? So that was 589 last run. It's a bit slow off the start, but once it gets going, that's 400 miles an hour. 500 miles an hour. 600 miles an hour, okay, good. And we're still going up. 635, 640. Can we get 650? Can we get 650? 
You get 650 right. Because it's so slow, I'm going to pause it there. We'll get a very aerodynamic block. We'll just do this. We'll get these guys. Get our two. Put that there. Put that there. Just this guy. But that's because he's not up against anything. There we go. Now, I don't think them engines are actually going to make anything different to the acceleration. Doesn't look like it. 300 miles now. We might have just added more weight rather than any sort of propulsion. But time will tell. 500 is seeming to be slower. Yeah, it's a bit more of a struggle now to get up to 600. And it's definitely not going to get 650 looking at that. Okay. So we will swap out these engines for three more of these engines. And of course, if we're doing that, we might as well take three more from the top. Ooh-ha! There we go. Power! Yeah, these jets are just ridiculous. 500 miles an hour. Coming up to 600. 650 is going to be blown out of the water. 700. 39. 740. 741, and we're stagnant. I can move this back now. I can't look at that. And have more aerodynamic impact on the wheels. Has that made any difference aerodynamically? Maybe. Look at us go. 500 miles an hour is just such a breeze now. It's so easy to do. 700 miles an hour and there's a wall. We were still climbing at 700, so no messing. Let's go. There's 700. 740, 750, 760. That's the sound barrier. That's so quiet. We get 800. Yes, we can tip 800. That is insane. That is just beautifully insane. It's weird. What's that told me is basically aerodynamics don't mean a thing in this game because ultimately it doesn't matter how you put the blocks. As long as it's got aerodynamic blocks there, it's just like these, right? Look, so you cover up that, you got more aerodynamic blocks there now. One less engine, take this engine off. Do you think we'll be able to get the 800 now? There were one less engine, but we're slightly more aerodynamic, apparently. 400 miles an hour. Look at it glowing. 500, 600. 700, 750, 760, 770, and we broke the sound barrier with one less engine. We're not going to get to 800, I don't think, before the wall. But it's strange how that aerodynamics is so impactful. I mean, look at that, with 794 ish miles an hour, we've got one less engine. So the argument is that that engine gives us six miles an hour. That's nuts. Let's go overkill. Let's go overkill. Let's just double up all these engines and just keep going and going and going and going. I have no idea how many engines that is. I think we could probably fit a number three aerodynamic block in here as well. Even more aerodynamics. Three rather than twos. Let's go. Oh, look at them all glowing. Oh, this is fast. This is fast. Sound barrier coming up. Boom. Beautiful. 800. 900. 1,000. That's the fastest I've been in Trailmakers. Look at it go. Listen to that noise. 1,200. 1,260-ish. All right. That's the fastest I've ever been. Yes, I know I use a lot of rockets, but I never said it wasn't going to. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. See you next time. Bye, everybody.